hello, hello. Beautiful morning in Ahmed, Bali. And today, Insta360 Ace Pro review. Because they sent me all that package which you saw in the beginning of the video. And um, I'm just gonna review basically the camera and the underwater housing. That's the most important thing for me. That's what I'm using every single day. I've seen so many different action cameras been holding them in the hands. I've heard a lot of things about them. There is a recent new cameras coming out and Ace Pro is just one of them. At the moment it's a rain season here in Bali. Plus the visibility is pretty bad because cold water gets up into the warm water mixing up and it's creating a really really poor visibility. But anyways, uh, if I'm comparing what I've been filming before, there is let's say less frustration. It doesn't mean you get frustration when you're filming, you get frustrated when you start editing it. I used a lot of light and most of my dives been like a night dives, uh, simply because it's really, really bad. If you bring all the cameras into the low light, they performing pretty much the same. It doesn't matter which brand it is, but on my opinion, because of the artificial intelligence, Insta360 is performing a little bit better. Someone will say there is no log. Honestly, I don't use log at all. I'm really primitive. I'm just taking files, dropping them on my timeline in a uh, editing tool, and that's it. And uh, if I need to add light, then I'm adding light. If I need to add a little bit of color, then I'm adding color. By the way, all this footage is raw. I just filmed it, dropped on a timeline, and that's what it is. There is no color grading involved in this edit.
and today Rebreeze day. This camera housing is rated for 50 meters while I'm going to bring it down to some 60, 70 so just to see how it's feeling there. The only problem which can happen the, the material where the housing is made is too soft so when there is a big pressure and because the back of the camera housing is flat the pressure starts pushing on it so finally the plastic starts touching the screen of the camera and it can damage it because it's like pushing it inwards but anyways I'm gonna give it a try Just came back from 70 meter dive. Uh, in the middle, usually you can see how the pressure is pressing on the um, housing, and that, and then that place where it's touching the screen, there was only small patch, so nothing really critical. Camera was working perfectly. I didn't see any malfunctions or anything else. It didn't freeze up as usually it do. Um, another brand camera I was using for a really long time uh, this one is there is no any issues with it so I can easily bring it for my technical dives down uh, to pretty big depths I'm pretty sure it will resist also 80 meters so yeah I can film my students I can film some deep dives and use it and I don't need another uh, camera housing or camera case to do that the idea is also to use that pure uh, video mode for underwater videos uh, simply because the visibility is pretty bad there is less there is not so much light from the surface so I will try it out
Looks like pure video is an option for underwater videos. All you have to do, put your camera into that pure video mode and just film. I just didn't get how it's getting the colors because when I started filming it without pointing at some close-up object where it's getting this color, I don't know, artificial intelligence getting it out of that footage or not, I, I'm not sure how it works. But yeah, so if I film first, then an object which is not close to me, all the video is with this visibility is white and black or black and white. And then if I'm first pointing the camera at some object, the camera is reading the colors and then accidentally all the footage is really colorful. I will figure it out. Maybe I will ask Insta360 to explain how it works so then I can get comments. But yeah, it worked perfectly. And uh, I'm leaving this footage for your personal judgment. You decide what you liked about it. Did you like this camera? No. It's in my dive shop for everyday use. I'm gonna use it for all the filming stuff at the moment. I like x3 camera for underwater videos but it takes a lot of time to edit it because choosing the angles i cannot just like if people asking me oh martin can you share please videos we you took during our dive it takes me about one one and a half hours just to get the right angles because i cannot send them this raw files simply because they cannot read them and even they download Insta360 app because it's so complicated and it's filming from two cameras they cannot read it so that's why Ace Pro is a perfect for me people ask for the files I'm just dropping them uh, to their I don't know whatsapp accounts or telegram or whatever is the best option for them and they can use them all right thank you very much for watching follow up subscribe please and see you on the next one. Bye.